swing full day for both gold and silver and interestingly the levels which are shared 1804 1805 and for silver 2040 respected beautifully those levels and bounce back and yet again on the upside too we have achieved the targets and the critical resistance level at 1830 and 2110 has come into picture now what to expect today which position you should take in order to profit we will see with the help of charts and indicators do not forget to like share subscribe and comment do not forget to press the bell icon the next update will be released before the us session do watch that also let's start first we we'll look into gold followed with silver watch till the end listen to it carefully note down the levels trade as per the levels now look at gold on the early charts i have told you 1830 levels you should watch out for precisely it has got the resistance from the same levels now on the early charts there is a gap to be filled here at 1818 1820 levels which is certainly the next important support level on the early charts the 20 period moving average now trying to trade bullish it means near term bullishness here hence once you see it trading above 1832 you can buy and probably the next target which you can look forward to is 1840 levels on the upside on the downside you have to wait for it to fill the gap at 1818 1820 which is certainly previously we had seen it giving very very strong support below 1820 you can expect we might see 1815 1810 levels now see 1810 1808 certainly then below 1818 1820 1880 1880 1810 levels are going to be the next stronger support levels now look at the early charts you can see certainly the movement is slightly bullish it is skewed on the higher highs higher lows are getting seen here so be cautious at around 1815 levels probably achieving those levels it can also bounce back now let's have a look at directional movement this is bullish stochastic rising from the bottom the macd is in green trading with little divergence RSI trading near to the highs there. If you look at the two hour chart, similar observation on the two hour charts is the. See here, it was trading bullish, then lower highs, flat bottom, and then this reversal ha happened. I will wait for it to break past eighteen thirty two till the time it stays below eighteen thirty two. I will not recommend you to buy. Yes, you can buy at eighteen thirty itself, but then uh, be cautious till eighteen thirty two, and beyond that, we may see eighteen thirty five forty. Now another important point here is eighteen twenty four. Yes, you can. Uh, those who want to risk a little can sell here, but then remember eighteen twenty eighteen eighteen zone is also a gap zone there on the early charts. Is also a strong support zone. You can see multiple candles getting the support or the resistance at these levels. And hence, and hence, if you see it trading below eighteen twenty four, you can sell for eighteen twenty eighteen eighteen fifteen. Now for the day I think eighteen fifteen should be a good resistance. Below that, little more drop might take it for eighteen oh eight, eighteen ten levels, which is the next stronger resistance zone. Directional movement moderately bullish, stochastic overbought looking down. The MACD is in green, trading with divergence. RSI near to the highs there. And if you look at the three R chart, now if you look at the three R charts, higher highs have been seen and it has been. trading outside bollinger bands and that is it helped to increase the width of the bollinger bands uh, no doubt on that and also couple of retracement candles and after that that is trying to reverse just wait for the next candle if you see it trading above 1830 you can buy but then 1832 35 and 40 1840 is the next stronger resistance levels there on the upside now see on the 3 hour charts also there is a gap at 1818 Eighteen twenty zone. It may try to fill it for once. Directional movement bullish, stochastic overbought. The MACD divergent and bullish. RSI near to the highs. On the four hour charts, on the four hour charts, see after couple of big bullish candles, it is it appears to be consolidating at these levels. Below eighteen twenty four, yes, a sell. Above eighteen thirty, yes, a buy. Directional movement bullish, stochastic overbought, MACD divergent and bullish, RSI looking up, looking flat. Now look at the daily chart. On the daily charts, one thing you should remember as how we had seen the swing yesterday. See, it has achieved lows, it has achieved highs. 
and yes there is a lot much of trading hours left as the day is starting now itself and till us session almost 15 to 16 hours are there hence you have to ensure that you keep booking profits and do not wait for the things to be there or for the larger profits there because see once it starts to you know that there are supports on the downside keep booking keep re-entering if you see it trading in the same direction now look at the daily charts here and if you look at the daily charts previous two candles lower lows higher high and increasing body size this indicates increasing bullishness previous candle had a wick also on the upside and this time see it is trading above 100 period moving average which is situated at around 1824 levels and it is trying to show you a little rise now see uh, here this candle and this candle might get to of same height which means 1835 and a little rise will bring it till towards 1840 levels which is certainly be the next resistance level now lower lows yesterday has created something beautiful you can if you connect the dots you can find out it is trying to create a channel now this is what i'm trying to say see lower lows are done almost if you see one more time it has tried to breach this so it is trying to create a channel and the highs of this channel now at 1850 levels which is certainly be the next stronger resistance so first you have to wait for it to break past 1840 and then 1847.50. If it stays above 1850, certainly little more bullishness will be seen. If you look at the daily charts here, directional movement is bearish trying to converge. Stochastic was oversold. It has come out of the oversold zone. The MACD is, was trading bearish so far and now it is on the verge of a converge and crossover. RSI trying to look up. Considering this, it appears possibly we might see a bullish day for gold, 1835-40 levels at least can be expected and beyond that we might also see 1845-50 zone to get achieved if at all it continues to trade bullish from here. Now see, uh, gold has dropped since long and it is, as I said, it is trying to trade in this channel. The possibility of a reversal exists only if it stays above 1880 levels now. Let's see if it achieves there, goes till towards those levels. And hence, for the day, yes, you can sell at 1824, but be cautious of 1818, 1820. It may try to fill the gap. In fact, below that, 1815 also may provide a very good support. Achieving higher lows, it can reverse from there and trade bullish. Possibility exists. On the downside, be cautious of 1808, 1810 levels. Below that only, little more bearishness is confirmed till the time you have to trade with the trailing stop loss. Trade accordingly, trade profitably. Now let's have a look at silver. And yes, if you want to learn this art of trading profitably, you should join my mentorship batch. The 20th batch starts on 13th of March. Reach out to me for more details. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Now look at the hourly charts for silver. Now if you recall my yesterday's analysis, I had told several times on the downside 2040, on the upside 2120. This was the range in which I had mentioned that still we can say that there could be swings and there could be a bounce back. Precisely the same has happened dropping till towards 2040 silver has taken a reversal. Also if you look at what it is trying to do is to trade in this channel. Now see rise here, retracement bottom of the channel now again a rise again little rise and retracement. So possibly you have to wait for it to break past 2080 levels in order to confirm the bearishness yes you can sell here at 2090 but then be cautious of 2080 only below 2080 little more bearishness is confirmed at the same time if you see it trading about 2110 you can buy for 2120 2150 levels and then see 2140 and 2150 is going to be a very good resistance level on the upside Directional movement bullish, stock stick is seen rising, it has come to overbought levels on the early charts, MACD divergent and bullish, RSI also trading near to the highs there. Now look at the 2 hour charts, on the 2 hour charts likewise you can see rise, retracement, rise first bullish candle, second bullish candle is almost trying to get created, a little tail is formed, it has just started so be watchful there. Once it stays about 2110, you can expect 2120, 2150, 40, 50 levels to be seen. 2140 is also a little resistance level. Directional movement bullish, stochastic divergent and bullish looking up. RSI also trying to look upward. And look at the 3R. 
Now on the three hour charts, couple of bullish candle retracement. First green candle, possibly we may see a second green candle, which could be of a bigger size than this, which means twenty one twenty levels can be seen, and beyond that, little more bullishness is confirmed. But twenty one ten certainly little resistance. Beyond that, certainly little more bullishness will be confirmed there. Now look at the directional movement bullish stock as stock is overbought on the three hour charts. That is what you should watch out for. The MACD is divergent and bullish, and this crossover has happened at a bottom, so possibly a little more rise. RSI looking upwards, and if you look at the four hour chart, now see on the four hour charts, uh, now it is trading above below, above the twenty period moving average, and you can see the candles here consistently increasing in size. Just wait for twenty one ten, and then twenty one twenty twenty one forty levels possibility exists that it can try to. Reach till there. Directional movement trying to cross over for its buy entry. A stochastic overbought. The MACD divergent and bullish here, looking upwards. RSI also trying to look upwards here. Now look at the daily charts. On the daily charts, the candle is green, trying to look upwards. Higher highs means twenty one ten, twenty one twenty zone to be watch out for. And this is going to be a good resistance zone. Once it stays above twenty one twenty, we can see little more bullishness for twenty one forty, twenty one sixty levels. But only bullish confirmation is if it trades beyond twenty two and twenty two fifty dollars, twenty two fifty levels. Directional movement bearish, stochastic rising from the oversold zone, and hence uh, this is pending for silver. It may try to show you a little rise. MACD trying to converge crossover. RSI trying to look upwards, show a little strength. And considering this for the day, you can buy here. Expect twenty one ten, twenty one twenty levels to get achieved, and beyond that, we may see twenty one forty. Now, till twenty one forty, put a trailing stop loss, such that in case of a reversal, your trade close is in profit. On the downside, you can sell here at twenty ninety. Wait for it to break past twenty eighty. Below twenty eighty only, little more bearishness will be seen. Till the time you have to trade with the trailing stop loss below twenty eighty, the target is twenty sixty, twenty forty. But I don't see that it is going to go till there. But these are markets trade according to the levels here. Trade accordingly, trade profitably, and on the upside, be cautious of twenty and forty fifty levels. Trade with the stop loss. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading day ahead. Join my mentorship batch. Reach out to me for more details. Telegram and email IDs mentioned in the channel and video description. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading day ahead. Thank you.